time. So today I'm just going to quickly show you how to create a rootable VLAN on the Netgear fully managed switches via the CLI and apply those to physical switch ports on your switch. So first thing we're going to do is to log into the CLI. Now I'm going in over Telnet, but obviously you guys can go in either Telnet, SSH is enabled, and also use the USB or serial console ports on the front of the switch. And once you're in the CLI, the first thing we want to do is get up to enable. If you do have a password, you'll be prompted for it there. First thing then, we're going to create a VLAN. I'm going to create a VLAN 99. So we need to drop into the VLAN database to do that. Once we're in there, we can create that VLAN 99. Now I'm going to call this VLAN video test. Also, going to label VLAN routing on there as well. So now that VLAN is created, if I do a show VLAN, I can see my new VLAN video test there. And the next thing we're going to do is going to give an IP address to enable that routing to take place. So for this, we're going to log out to conf mode. We're then going to go into the VLAN interface. So interface VLAN 99. Then going to give it an IP address of 192.168.99.254 and last 255.255.255.0. I now have that IP address applied to my VLAN. Now, once I've done that, I'm going to want to physically apply that to some ports. So I'm going to go to physical port now. So I'm going to do this on port. 1 slash 0 slash 2. So I'm going to drop into the interface there. And then I'm going to make it a default PVID of 99. And then I'm going to make it a member of 99 by VLAN participation include 99. Now I also have a VLAN ID of 1 that I use across my network. So I'm going to tag that for VLAN 1 as well to ensure that traffic passes. And exit out of that, exit out of that, save that from my startup to my, from my running to my startup config, and away I go. So now if I come to here, see my VLAN 99, and come to VLAN membership, I can see 1, it's tagged on port 2, 99, is untagged on port 2, the PVID, see the PVID 99, it's also a member of 99. Come along to routing, I can see in my routing table there is 99, 254 directly connected because it's out on this switch. I come to the VLAN routing here again, see my VLAN 99, the interface IP address of 99.254, and there you go. 3 minutes 20 seconds and we have successfully created a VM, rooted it and we've placed it on a switch port as well. Thanks guys, see you soon.